this is an amazing piece of technology. I'm going to talk a little bit about the process on this piece because I think it's so amazing um, how it all comes together. So um, the scan was done in 3D at, at very, 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 very high detail, capturing an amazing 3D laser scanner that fires lasers at very high speed all over your all over the surface of your face captures the data and forms something called the point cloud and so out of the scanner what you get is thousands of dots um, that have come back as points of light from 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 the laser there was this incredibly crazy nutty forensic photographer that uh, took the subject who, who who's my wife, Chloe, and photographed her face from every angle in a forensic kind of way. Eventually, the point cloud gets turned into a mesh, and painstakingly, now, I know the technology is massively improving on this really fast, and so in two years' time, it's not going to be painstaking. Now it's painstaking. Painstakingly taking out a piece of one of the pictures, pasting it on, taking out another piece of one of the pictures, pasting it on, eventually getting all the lighting right, pasting them all together into this. Set in the context of the limitations of machines, for me, this piece represents the moment that we're at in society right now where aspects of ourselves, that strip is Amazon, that strip is Google, um, a picture is starting to form of who we are. Thinking about the meta-ego, there are different ways you can deal with it. And so, so ultimately, if you look at how the meta-ego is formed, it's formed by pasting together strips of data. And as more strips overlap and as you build up an, a, a density of strips, you start to form a better picture of who you are. And so in the context of the web, how do you protect your ego, your meta-ego? Here's some advice. Well, so the one option is, of course, going to go completely um, off the grid in every single way. Uh, but that's not really practical. Another way of dealing with it, which is slightly cheeky, is to be deeply aware of what information you share in what environment. So making sure that information, is, your information, is as fragmented as possible. So why is it important for Facebook to have your birthday? Like, how, how, do I how do I benefit from giving Facebook my birthday? And if it's not entirely clear what the benefit is, don't give it. Don't give it. Keep your information as fragmented as possible. Reduce your enthusiasm in, in terms of sharing information about yourself and, and be thoughtful about where you give it. And at times, Maybe throw in a few little red herrings just to confuse the machines, you know. Um, maybe you weren't born in 1984 after all. You know. Pop in in 1985 and yeah, at least for the next couple of years it'll throw the machine just that little bit. The great machine will be thrown, so don't quote me on that, but it'll work. Yeah. <laughs>